In this video, we will look at some of the most commonly used image file formats. Some digital cameras produce raw images that contain the unprocessed data coming from the camera's image sensor. Raw files are so named because they are not yet fully processed and therefore are not ready to be displayed or printed. These raw images must first be processed and converted to a different format with digital image editing software before they can be manipulated. Since RAW files preserve the most amount of information of an image, the size of that image in the RAW format can be many times larger than in another format. For comparison, the size of a RAW image can be as high as 25 megabytes, while a compressed version of the same image converted to the JPEG format can be decreased to only 2 or 3 megabytes. In spite of its large size, the richness of the data in raw images gives us the most control over the editing process. This editing control is the main reason why many professional photographers prefer capturing their images in raw format, especially when they want to enlarge their images and print them as very large photos or posters. JPG, or JPEG, pronounced JPEG, stands for Joint Photographic Experts Group, a committee that developed the standards for the format that is used to compress images. JPEG uses lossy compression, which works by eliminating some unnecessary bits of information from a digital image in order to reduce the size of the image. JPEG images can use 24-bit color or up to 16 million colors. This color richness in addition to its smaller size, makes JPEG one of the most popular image formats, and it is now the standard file format for most digital cameras. Another advantage of the JPEG format is that it also is compatible across different computer platforms such as PC and Mac, and many different editing programs and web browsers. These images show a comparison of a high-quality JPEG on the left and a very lossy JPEG on the right. As long as an image is not overly compressed, a high-quality JPEG is usually sufficient for most uses. TIFF, or TIFF, stands for Tagged Image File Format, and this is a file format used mainly for storing images, including digital photos and line art. TIFF images usually are higher quality than other formats such as JPEG, because the image data in TIFFs is not compressed or is just slightly compressed. So the file sizes of TIFF images are larger but of better quality compared to other image file formats. The TIFF format is platform independent, which means that these images may be viewed on a PC or a Macintosh computer. The TIFF format is widely used by serious digital photographers and is supported by most high-quality image editing software programs such as Adobe Photoshop and others. GIF stands for Graphics Interchange Format and is pronounced GIF by some and GIF by others. This image format only supports 256 colors, which makes the file size of GIF images relatively small compared to JPEGs. This format is most suitable for small graphics with few colors, such as simple diagrams, shapes, logos, and cartoon-style images, but not for photos taken with a digital camera. These images show a comparison of a high-quality JPEG on the left and a GIF image on the right. Do you notice the differences? The GIF image format is quite popular on the Internet because of its small size and its support for simple animation effects, as shown in this example. PNG stands for Portable Network Graphics. Similar to JPEG, the PNG file format supports 24-bit true color, or over 16 million colors. However, unlike JPEG, the PNG format uses lossless compression, which means that it does not lose quality and detail after image compression. Although the file size of PNG images will be larger than JPEGs, the quality will be better. Another advantage of the PNG format is that it supports transparency, 
which is why the PNG format is often used for logos that involve transparency or fading. In this example, the two University of Houston logos are in two different formats, PNG on the left and JPEG on the right. When placed in front of a white background, you may not see any difference between the two images. But how about now? You can clearly see that the transparent logo on the left, which is the PNG, works better in this image than the JPEG image on the right, which does not support a transparent background.